Liz Crosby here with a Vinyasa Flow. Today we'll be sliding, so blanket on standby for props. And today we'll start in child's pose, Balasana. So meet me, knees can come together or out wide. Roll the spine forward over the thighs. Rest your brow on the mat, close the eyes. And begin to connect to your breath. Take a nice deep inhalation in through the nose. Pausing at the very top, come back your attention. Exhale, side up the mouth like you're fogging up a mirror. <sighs> Pausing at the bottom. And again, inhale deep and through the nose. Pause at top, feel the breath as it flows through the whole cardiovascular system. Exhale, make a sound as you exhale, side up the mouth. <sighs> Pausing at the very bottom. Meditating on all four parts of the breath cycle. Again, inhale deep and through the nose. Lungs expanding in every direction, pausing at the very top. And exhale, side up and up. Let it go. <sighs> pausing at the bottom, still the lips begin to breathe in and out through the nose, constricting the back of the throat just slightly so you can hear and feel the breath. Activate your ujjayi proud conqueror's breath. It will be expanding into new space, so right away, set an intention for your practice. What is it that you're calling into this new space? Energy is neither created nor destroyed, it just changes form. And giving yourself permission to witness whatever comes up with loving appreciation. And then walking the hands over to the right. Lift your torso up, set your chest down on top of your right thigh, left hand can come on top of the right hand, interlace, and breathe into the left side body. And back into center. Walk the hands over to the left. Right hand on top of the left hand. Root down through your right sit bone. Set your chest on top of your left thigh, breathe into the right side body. Back through to center. Roll the spine up into your tabletop pose. Ground down through your palms and your shins. Inhale as you melt the heart forward and up. Sit pose, reach up, gaze up. Exhale to round the spine, gaze at the navel. Inhale to peel the chest forward. And exhale to round. Moving into your bear pose, hip circle, shoulder circles, where it feels good in the spine. And then roll the front of your mat up. Blanket comes forward and in front of the roll. Hands onto the blanket. Now slide the blanket forward. As you inhale, exhale, slide the blanket back. Inhale to slide it forward. And exhale, slide it back. Feel the muscle that wraps around your abdomen like a girdle engaging. This is the transverse abdominis. And then slide the blanket back off to the side, roll the mat back out again right away. With that transverse abdominus engagement, take it into your puppy dog pose. Hips stacking over knees, walk the hands forward, melt the heart, and extend the sit up towards the ceiling. Maybe forehead to mat. Maybe chin to mat. Maybe the whole chest reaches the floor. Couple more deep Ujjayi breath. Breathe into that space. You can actually tuck the toes, press down through the big toe mounds, and lift the knees up if you'd like more. Maybe release the knees, bend in the knees, reach back with the hands for the shins. Amazing. Then <laughs> gently release that if you have arms come forward. Slide forward into your sphinx pose. 
hips to mat, elbows stacking underneath the shoulders, pressing down through the forearms, dropping across the collarbones. Drop right in towards right shoulder, left chin over chest. Left your left shoulder beating into your cervical spine. And back through the center, walk the hands to the outer edges of the mat, lift up onto your fingertips, spread the elbows wide, lift your chest up. Drop the right shoulder gaze over your left. Inhale through center. And exhale the twist. Back through the center as you inhale. Exhale, slowly release the spine back down. Hands come behind the back, into the legs. Press palms together, massage your sacrum with your knuckles. Now raise the hands back behind, straight through both the arms. Lift the chest up, lift the legs up, spine and thighs up towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin and extend, lengthening the whole cervical spine. Keep this engagement in the back of your core. Release the interlace. Hands set underneath the shoulders. Press up, lift up into your cobra pose. Drop elbows in, roll shoulders back. Tuck the toes, hips lift up and back, down with this and dog pose. Walk it out, bending one knee and then the other. Allow the hips to shift from side to side, breathing into the calves, the hamstrings, the lower back. And bring both heels to the right. So come down to the outer to the right foot, then the inner arch of the left foot. Let your right hip dip, breathe into your left side body. And then switch both heels to the left. Now it's the outer to the left foot, inner arch of the right foot. Let the left hip dip to the side as you breathe into the right side body. Back through the center and then walk the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Walk the hands back halfway. Right hand plants center of the mat. Left arm drives through, catch your right ankle. And then take a twist. Switch, left hand plant, center of the mat, right arm drives through, catch your left ankle and twist. Inhales to elongate the spine, exhales to twist deeper. Back through the center, walk the hands back the rest of the way, walk the feet back together. Inhale as you feel the chest board, find some length, arch the spine, exhale into forward folding. Grab and lift up, both arms sweep up, Urdhva Hastasana, and exhale the hands back to the heart center. Now, take a step back off of your mat, pick up the back of the mat, roll your mat up a couple times. Blanket comes back behind, step onto the blanket. This is where things get fun. Inhale to sweep the hands out and up. Exhale the hinge from the hips, lead with the heart. Inhale as you feel the chest forward, find length arch. Plant down through the palms, slide your blanket back into your plank pose. Now from here, slide the blanket up behind your knees. Slide it back plank. Now slide the blanket up behind your right tricep, side throw. Slide it back into your plank. Exhale, slide the blanket up to your left side, side from the left side, slide it back into your plank pose. Exhale to lower through Shatharanga, hug the elbows in. Put them foot at a tight inhale into your Urdhva Mudra, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, and slide the blanket up behind your wrists. Inhale as you peel the chest forward, find some length, arch. And exhale into two, four, fold. Ground down, lift up. Both arms sweep up. Exhale, hands back to the heart center. All right, here we go. Inhale, sweep the hands out and up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with heart. Inhale, peel chest forward, find length, arch the spine. Plant down through palms, slide the blanket back into your plank pose. Now, things can get a little bit confusing here. Right foot stays on the blanket. Left foot steps onto the floor. Now slide the right leg over to your right tricep. You can keep that right leg straight. 
So say we go into Ekpada Kundinasana 1. Now slide the blanket back. Right leg comes across the left leg. Slide the blanket with the right foot over to your left tricep. Ekpada Kundinasana 2. Send in breath. Slide the blanket back and then switch. Right foot off, left foot on, left leg over to your left tricep. Ekpada Kundinasana 1. It is so delicious. It's core work, but it's also a just glorious hip opening stretch. So savor the opening, send in breath, then slide the left leg back. Left leg comes across your right leg over to the right tricep. Outer hip stretch, send in that ujjayi. Slide, blanket back. Both feet on the blanket. Exhale to lock yourself around it. Hug the elbows in. For one foot at a time, inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Roll the little shoulders back, puff chest. Exhale, slide and lift behind. Wrists. Inhale as you peel the chest forward. Exhale, forward fold. Ground down, lift up, both arms, sweep up. Urdhva Hasasana, exhale the hands back to heart center. All right, we're just going to do one Surinam Scar B. Chair pose, bending in both knees, both arms sweep. Exhale, release. Straight through both the legs. Inhale as you peel the chest forward, find some length. This time, actually attempt a crow pose. Wrap the elbows in, knees come high up and in towards the armpits. Lean right height forward, lift one or both feet. Now, bringing the feet to the blanket, this is such a great way to imprint. Your jump back through Chaturanga, gaze forward, shoot the head forward as you shoot the feet back. Inhale into your Urdhva Mukha, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, roll the toes, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog pose with the blanket. You can do a shortened stance, so it can be a shortened down dog. You might be <laughs> experiencing some new core muscle engagements. Right leg extends as you inhale. Exhaling knee to nose, round the upper spine. Gently step the right foot between the palms. Inhale as you rise. High crescent pose, both arms sweep up. A little tiny bend in the left knee is fine to keep the hips neutral. Gaze up, lift your heart up. Exhale, the hands come down to the mat. Now slide the blanket in. Right foot steps onto the blanket. Left leg sweeps up for your standing splits or supported warrior three. Somewhere in between. Draw your forehead towards your shin. We extend the left heel up towards the ceiling. And then maybe optional hands plant. Try to kick the blanket towards your wrists. And see if you can take it up into a handstand. Pausing in upside down warrior three. Now really anchor in with that left leg and then begin to draw the right leg to meet it. Squeeze the legs together at the top. Maybe work a slow control descent down, butt back, feet forward. Slide back. Exhale, low for Shakaranga. Both up at a time, we want to curve a mukha. Exhale, adha mukha, shtanasana. Hips lift up and back. Downward facing dog pose. Inhale, left leg extends up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, round the upper spine. Step the left foot between the palms. Inhale as you rise, high crescent pose. Both arms sweep up. Gaze up, lift your heart up. Beautiful. Little tiny bend in that right knee is fine. The field of pelvic floor firming, imprinting mula bandha engagement. And then exhale, hands come down to the mat. Slide that blanket forward. Left foot steps onto the blanket. Again, hands are just shoulder distance apart, middle fingers in line, thumbs in line. Arms stay straight. Pull the arms in, right leg extends up. You can take a little bit of a standing split just to create the space. We draw forehead towards shin. Stay here in your standing split if hopping up in the handstand does not interest you. No worries. Those of you taking it up, hands plant. 
Take a break it towards you and roll the hips up. Now maybe draw the legs together at the top. Squeeze the legs together at the top. Butt back, feet forward. Try to work that figure seven. And then feet to blanket. Slide it back. Exhale, lower through Shukhananda. Maybe onto your Urdhva Mudra. And exhale, slide blanket up behind the wrists. Inhale, peel chest forward. Finally, arch. And exhale, forward fold. Close back, chair pose, bend the knees, both arms sweep. And press up, stand up against the right center. Leg it off to the side. And roll your mat back out. Meet me at the front of the mat. Big toes touching. Heels slightly apart. Bending deeply into both knees. Rip the toss and chair pose. Both arms sweep. Shift the weight forward into the boot to Lift your heels up slow or down. Knees up and wide, but your arms straight through. And gently take a seat. Hands underneath your thighs. Broaden across your chest, upright the spine. Now lean your way back. Float the feet. Arms can extend forward, maybe. Straighten through the legs. Inhales as you lower. Exhales to lift. Inhales to lower. Exhales to lift. Lower and hold here for five, four, Three, two, and one. Hug your knees in, start to take some rocks. Feet will come wide, reach your arms through. Malasana squat. Roll out the wrists a little bit. You can take your forearms on top of your calves and then sit on top of the forearms, nod it back and forth from side to side. Ball the hands up into fists and then expand. And then gently release. And we are going to get both sides. So we're starting with the right side. The right arm sweeps forward and in front of the right shin. Left hand can press the left knee away. Maybe the left arm extends. Internally rotate, bend the elbows, reach back for fingertips or a wrist. Roll that left shoulder back. Those of you that want it, scoop that left foot in. Press it up, lift it up. Leg may start to come to stand. And then slowly lower leg may serves. Take it back down. And gently release. All right, taking it into the kasana. Maybe if you're feeling it, a little headstand. Optional, optional, optional. Please do your practice. Do that on yourself. Be sure. Knees come high up in it. Lean your weight forward, lifting one or both feet. Slowly lower, tuck chin, crown to ground, press up, lift it up, travel upon headstand. Knees come high up and in towards the armpits again. So we have our John Darbanda activated for our standing sequence. Press it up, lift it up, back into the costume. Shift weight onto the right shin, left leg extends back. Again, you can take the fake hand for the Vakasana, right foot can stay grounded. Left foot steps way back. Right foot between the palms. Left foot swings down 45. Inhale, rise, warrior one, both arms sweep up. Hands come behind the back, interlace. Broaden across the collarbones as you inhale. Exhale to hinge from the hips. Lead with the heart as right shoulder passes right knee, then begin to wrap. Lengthen the whole spine up and out of the pelvic bowl. Breathe into your lower back. Ground them down to lift up, roll the spine up, both arms sweep up. Open it out, warrior two, adjust the stance. Heel to arch alignment, relax the shoulders. Flip the right palm, reverse it, left hand the third calf, lengthen through the right side body. Inhale as you rise. Right elbow, right thigh, left arm extends forward, extended side angle. Left hand can reach back for the right thigh, half bind. Right hand instep of the right foot. There is a full bind. 
Go binders if you'd like. Take flight. Left foot steps forward. Press up, lift up, raise your eyes, go to paradise. Fusing at a single point of focus or just seat. Straight through standing and straight through lifting. Sit in breath, sit in your jacket. And slowly lower birds. Pressing down to the right foot, shift weight forward into your crown. Left leg extends back, round half moon on your way back. And then step it way back, release the bind, rise. Warrior two, straighten through right leg as you rise. Heel toe that left foot and shorten the stance. Deepen the right hip crease, extend right arm forward, reach. Right hand to ankle, shin forward. Left arm extends up and twist. Firm the navel and as you twist, gaze is at the left fingertips. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Now left hand down to max. Scoop the left foot forward and to the left. Notice that mula barla is just kind of on a gentle hum right now from the blanket exercises. Or maybe your standing posture feels a lot more structurally sound today. Lifting up onto the fingertips. Use blocks or books if you need them. Straight through both your arms, rounding the upper spine. Pull the right finger head one into the right hip socket. Pull the right foot off the mat just an inch. And then gently set the right foot back down. Walk the hands to the right. Lengthen the spine up now. We have a full breathe into your lower back. Left hand plants outer to the right foot, right hand to your sacrum. Stabilize your pelvic bowl. Now roll your right shoulder back. Your right arm can extend up. Gaze up at the right fingertips. Deep ujjayi breaths. Can you lift those kneecaps up? From the pelvic floor, from navel to spine. Draw the shoulder blades together and down the back. Cut the chin, we extend out the crown. Beautiful work, gently bend the right knee. Left hand comes forward of the right foot. Press it up, lift it up. Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe bending in the left knee, reach back. With the right hand for your left foot, kick. The foot into the hand, slingshot the heart forward towards the front of the room. Optional child positive variation. Gently release child positive if you have it. Re extend that left leg back. Right hand to mat, support of warrior three. Now roll your left hip to step. Left arm can extend up, arch and draw some half moon pose. Maybe bend the left knee, reach back with the left hand for your left foot. Kick the foot into the hand and slingshot the heart forward. Send breath in. Gently release both hands to that. Stand in splits, re extend left heel. Breathe in two right hamstrings. Now you can kick the left foot through and arrive in your pistol squat or maybe handstanders. Take it up into your handstand, lean weight into your knee foundation, push the floor away, plug the femur head bone into the hip socket as you hop, and connect the legs together at the top. Squeeze those legs together, reach out of the balls of the feet. Handstand, you're just bend right knee, right heel towards the right seat, butt back, left foot forward. Toe down, maybe. Step through. Arrive in your pistol, and then gently release. Take a seat, float both feet. Knees can stay bent, or straighten through the legs. Inhale as you lower. Exhales to lift. Inhales to lower. Exhales to lift. Inhale to lower. And exhale to lift. Lower and hold here for five, four, Three, from navel towards spine. Two, and one. Hug your knees in, start sticks and rocks. Forward and back. Feet come wide. Reach your arms through. We can roll out the wrists a little bit. Kind of want to nurture and love up the wrists a little bit more around the darker phases of the moon. Again, that extra gravitational pull will cause the wrist to talk to you a little bit, which is good to know. 
sometimes you might question why things are happening in your practice and if you're aware of the external environmental pressures then you can kind of anticipate or I'm just come on top of the calves with the seat on top rock gently from side to side and then you can ball the hands into fists and then explode I love this stuff gotta love your wrists and then release as a little prep especially if you decide to take your bird of paradise, left arm forward and in front of the left shin, right hand can press the right knee away. And right arm can extend. Internally rotate both arms, bend at the elbows, reach back, fingertips or the wrist. Sweep that right foot in. Press up, lift up, reach your eyes, bird. Prep. Leg moves. Is there a single point of focus for your seat? Straighten through the standing legs and in breaths and in your try. And then slowly lower it down. Well done, yogis. Back at Tamalasana squat. All right. So again, however you want to make your way into our warrior one stance. So neutral stance, right foot sailed down, straight back leg. But of course, if you went with me on the other side, do so again on this side to bring balance. Bakasana, tripod headstand back into Bakasana. Take one leg back at the pot of Bakasana. So easier said than done, right? Here we go. Knees come high up and in towards the armpits. Lean weight forward, lift one or both feet. Maybe even if you're just exploring Bakasana, it's a great idea to warm up the shoulders before we move into the upper half of the sequence. Slowly lower it down, press it up, lift it up, tripod. And headstand two will help you to keep John Garbanda, the chin lock activated while you're in the standing upright posture. So often this banda gets all but forgotten about. So having this reminder at the very beginning of the sequence, knees come high up and in towards the armpits. Butt comes back ever so slightly just to find that counterbalance. And then press it up. Lift it up back into your Vakasana. And now warming up for the shoulders. That humble warrior is going to be juicy. Shift weight onto the left shin. Right leg comes off. Extended back, maybe. It's okay if it's not extending back today. But again, he does. Right foot steps way back. Left foot between the palms. Right foot sails down, 45, heel to heel, inhale, rise, both arms sweep up. Drive right foot forward as you drive the left hip back. Gaze up, lift your heart up. And hands come behind the back. Upward interlace, so opposite thumb on top, inhales you find them. And exhale, hinge from hips, lead with heart as left shoulder passes the left knee, then begin to round. Lengthen the whole spine up and down the pelvic bowl. Breathe into your lower back. Ground them down to lift up. Roll the spine up, both arms sweep up. And open it out, warrior two. Adjust the stance. Heel to arch alignment. Relax the shoulders, tuck the chin, and they extend up the crown. Again, find that John Darabonda chin lock. Flip the left palm, reverse your warrior. Right hand to thigh or calf. Lengthen through the left side body. Breathe into the left side body. Inhale as you rise, left elbow, left thigh, right arm extends forward. Right hand can reach back for that half bind. Left hand step left foot. There is a full bind. Full binders. Take flight. Right foot steps forward. Press down to the right foot, root to rise. Bird of paradise. Deep reach out your breath, side the bend. And then slowly lower birds, pressing down to the left foot. Shift weight forward into crown. Right leg extends back down, half moon pose. On your way back. And then step it way back, release the mind, rise warrior two. Straight through left leg as you rise. Heel to right foot in. 
Deep in the left hip crease, extend that arm forward, reach. Left hand to ankle, shin floor, right arm extends up. And twist the spine open. Gaze is at the right fingertips. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Yeah, really fill out space, yogis. You've got the lower half super activated. The upper half is warmed too from the arm bones, potentially the headstand. Right hand comes down to mat. Scoot the right foot forward and to the right. Now lifting up onto the fingertips. Straighten through both your arms around your upper spine. Plug the left femur head bone into the left hip socket. See if you can float that left foot off of the mat just an inch. And then set the left foot back down. That stuff is not easy. Again, feel free to use books, blocks. Do what you need so that you can start to connect to that engagement. Walk the hands to the left yogis. We'll come back to the blanket, taking a little break from sliding. <laughs> anyway, the blanket exercises will get you really hot, very similarly to the kundalini exercises. Right hand plants out of the left foot. Left hand to your sacrum. Stabilize your pelvic bowl. Now roll the left shoulder back. Left arm can extend up, twist from the navel and as you twist. I know this shape feels awkward at first. Do the very best that you can. You've got this, yogis. You will start to feel more stable in this posture over time. Gently bending in the left knee, knee way forward, press up, lift up, float the right leg up. Maybe bending in the right knee, reach back with the left hand for your right foot, kick the foot into the hip, cinch up the heart forward towards the front of the room. Beautiful work, yogis. Gently release, we extend the right leg back, left hand to mat, support of warrior three, then roll the right hip to step, right arm extends up, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Bending in the right knee, reach back with the right hand for the right foot, then kick the foot into the head. Slingshot the heart forward towards the front of the room. Amazing. Gently release. We extend the right leg back. Hands to mat. Standing split to extend right heel. Breathe into your left hamstrings. And then you can kick that right foot through for pistol squat. Four hands plant. Middle fingers in line, thumbs in line. Arm straight. Push the floor away. Connect the legs together at the top. Squeeze the legs together. Reach out through the balls of the feet. Lift the fire to your breath through the spine, y'all. Then bending the left knee. Kick your left heel towards your left seat, butt back as the right leg comes forward. Figure seven. And then right foot can tuck down as you step. All right, pistol squat. Back where we began. Gently release and take a seat. Now, float the legs up and bend in the knees. Knees come over to the right. Balance on your right butt cheek. Hands will reach over to the left. Inhales to extend. Exhales to lift. Inhales to extend. Exhales to lift. Once more to extend and hold. Go for five, four, three, two, and one. Lift. Hands come to the mat. Massage your right butt cheek. Oh, yes. <laughs> Surprise butt massage. Knees come over to the left now. Hands to the right. Balance on your left butt cheek. Inhale to extend. Exhales to lift. Inhales to extend. Exhales to lift. Once more, inhale to extend. And hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lift. Hands to the mat, massage your left butt cheek. Oh yeah. <laughs> it feels so nice. All right, yogis. Back through the center. 
Lower and hold. Flutter the feet. Now flutter from side to side. If you need to, you can put the, the hands underneath your seat. A little bit of extra support. Back through the middle and scissor the feet. Start really small and then go wide. Go back small. Beautiful. Legs come together. Extend the arms up and overhead until you your hands in here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Legs come up, swing legs down, and catch your hollow body. Rock. And again, feet will come wide. Reach your arms through, arriving in your Malasana squat. All right, so again, this is a little bit of a lower back flow because we are around the new moon phase. Uh, this is going to be on YouTube, so you can check it out anytime. And I just love this stuff for lower spine all the time, but again, most especially around the dark moon phase. So you can shimmy your torso between your thighs. I kind of like to bring each thigh out, go a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper, keep reaching the heart forward, and then reach both arms out wide. You can. Into a rotate bend of the elbows, reach back, and maybe clasp. Got them. If you can't clasp fingertips, use a strap. This one feels amazing for the lower spine. And gently release that. Straighten out the legs. Walk the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Just do what you can, yogis. This stuff feels absolutely divine, although it looks kind of bizarre at first. Be completely honest, put both legs on like backpack straps. Send the arms out wide. Until you rotate, bend the elbows. Reach back through fingertips or wrist. Again, use a strap if you need it, yogis. Now start to pull your gaze through. And then gently release. Hands come behind the ankles. And bend in the elbows, bend in the knees. Set your hamstrings on top of your triceps, walk the feet together, cross the ankles and see if you can float the feet up for Bhuja Kadasana arm squeeze pose. And then maybe releasing the feet, extend the legs forward for your Titi Basana. Gently release, straighten both the legs, heel toe the feet to about hips distance apart, peace and fingers and thumbs, catch your big toes, Inhale as you find length and exhale your forward fold. Now shift weight into the right foot, left leg lifts and extends out to the left. And then slowly lower. Shift weight into the left foot. Now the right leg lifts and extends out to the right. Find the counterbalance. Slowly lower. And again, hands slide underneath the feet for Padahastasana. Press the balls of the feet into the wrist, a little yoga wrist. Therapy here. Maybe one heel lifts, followed by the other. Maybe both heels lift. And this is a little bit uh, trepidatious, tenuous. Make sure that you have a blanket in front of your face just in case you should have a little mishap because obviously your hands are a little bit preoccupied. And of course, I love pressing the thighs into my chest. It creates a little bit of energy and continuity here. And then gently release, whoo. All right, those hands should feel brand new. However you wanna make your way back through Vinyasa, of course you can take Vakasana, shoot it back. I'm going to add on, those of you that want to, Take a little straddle hop up into your handstand. So spread the fingers wide, spiral the eyes, elbows toward each other, plug arms in the shoulder sockets, push the floor away, arms stay straight, broaden across the traps, lean the shoulders beyond the wrists ever so slightly, and then as you hop, kick out wide simultaneously with both feet. And then connect the legs together at the top. Maybe you lower. Toe tap. Take it back up, maybe take a rep. Back 
down. Bakasana. Gaze forward. Shoot the head forward as you shoot the feet back. Inhale into your Urdhva Mukha. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale. Roll over the toes. Hips rise up and back. Downward facing dog pose. From downward facing dog pose. Right leg extends up and back as you inhale. Exhale, step the right foot to the average of your right hand. Lower the left knee down to the mat. Lower the forearms down to the mat. Nod the hips from side to side. You can open the right knee out to the right and roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Deeply draw your breath. Breathe into the sacral region, lower spine. Right hand can come to the right knee, gaze over the right shoulder. Now come into the fleshy part of the left knee. Bend left knee, reach back with the right hand for your left foot and press heel towards seat. Send in breath. And gently release. Walk the hands in, walk the right foot off of the mat. Roll up the front of the mat. And you can actually give yourself a little bit of extra cushion if you want for your left knee. Blanket comes forward and in front. I told you it would be sliding again. Here we are. All right, so left knee onto the roll, right foot onto the blanket. And we're going to slide a little bit first to generate heat in the hips. So you'll slide that right foot forward. Try not to use hands if you can. Hands can't come to blocks or books though. And then slide the blanket back. Couple times. And slide it up as far as feels comfortable. Let's pull this space here. Find your deepest depth and enjoy. You can kind of wiggle around a little bit, but maintain your mula bandha activation, firming the pelvic floor muscles, which is why I love the sliding technique. It will definitely establish Mula Banda connection, firming and toning of the pelvic floor. Maybe float the arms up. And here's where things get really juicy. Walk the hands to the left. Bend the left knee. Left foot will point back behind you now. Right foot seals down to a 45 on the blanket. And notice you can lift up as much as you need to come into your half middle split and then slide that blanket out as far as feels comfortable and enjoy the opening sending breath on your body just go as far as the body is willing to release and then keep going walk the hands to the left roll your right hip down towards the ground come onto the bridge of the right foot on the blanket should be a nice little hip flexor stretch. Left heel towards your outer left hip for a half virasana, half hero's pose. And breathe into the hip flexor, the quadricep. And then back through the center. So we're exploring the whole range of motion of femur head bone and hip socket. Back into side splits. And slide the blanket back in again, off to the side, roll the mat back out. Right foot behind left wrist, right away, half pigeon pose. Gaze back with the left leg in line with the hip. Inhale as you find length, and exhale as you forward fold. Deep Ujjayi breaths while we're here. Just gonna hit all of our bases, all of the corners. Left arm can slide underneath the right arm, set the left shoulder down. Walk that right arm forward and also across over to the right. Both palms facing up, breathe into the rhomboids. Muscles that connect, scapula, spine. Stay here if you like, or a right hand can reach back along the right side body. Reach back behind for your right foot by your outer left hip. Catch the right foot, and then roll the right shoulder back, twist. And then 
and shed and release. Walk the hands back in. Pressing down to the palms. Bend the left knee, reach back with the left hand for your left foot. Press heel towards seat. Release. Right hand can reach back behind. Again, I like to bring the heel towards the inner groin to prepare for this so it's easier to keep my hips in one line. But if you have really, really deep open hips, maybe not necessary. Reach back with the right hand for your right big toe. Catch the bind and then bend left knee. Reach back, left hand for left foot. Overhead grip. Again, here you can also use the strap. Gently release, walk the hands in, tuck the back toes, engage the left thigh, lift the left knee. Now slide the right leg over to the left and set the right hip down, walk the hands to the right, left forearm lowers, gently twist. Back through the center and press down through both arms, drag the right hip back behind. Breathe into the psoas muscle that connects your leg to your trunk. This stuff is glorious again, especially for lower back. You walk the hands back in, hands plant, foot in front of the right hip, press up, lift up, variation of plank, left foot swings down, left arm extends, roll left shoulder back. Maybe you float the right foot up, left hand can catch the outer edge, reach it forward towards the front of the room. Release, we bend the right knee, left hand plant, sweep right leg up and back. Rotate down to the outer edge of the left foot, get light in the right hand, push the floor, we lift the hips up, float a tree, maybe yogi toe walk. If it's calling it, of course, maybe overhead grip. Release, wild thing. Roll it back into downward facing. Vinyasa, if it's pleasing. Lift the heels, bend the knees, roll the spine forward as you inhale. Come forward into plank pose. Exhale, push up the bottom of the hug the elbows in. Inhale into your urban and lift your Exhale, hips lift up and back. Downward facing dog pose. Left leg extends as you inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the left foot to the outer edge of the left foot. Right knee lowers. Forearms lower, ease into the hip stretch. Nod the hips from side to side. Sun breath in. Left hand to the left knee, gaze over the left shoulder. You can really pay attention to what comes up. Coming onto the fleshy part of the right knee, bend the right knee, reach back with the left hand for the right foot, press heel towards seat. Deep Ujjayi breath, send it in. Notice all these opportunities to share consciousness within your space. Receive the invitations as they're given. Gently release, walk the left foot off of the mat. Now roll up the front of the mat. Maybe a couple times, so you have some extra cushion, right knee onto the yoga mat, left foot onto the blanket, and we slide. Try not to use hands if you can. If you need to use the hands, hands can come to the mat, to the ground, to blocks. If you've got them, if not, books, slide that left foot forward. And slide the left foot back. Slide it forward and slide it back a couple more times. Find that Mula Bandha activation. Keep it and then slide it as far forward as feels comfortable. Keep scissoring the thighs together, firming the pelvic floor muscles. Mula Bandha activation. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Those of you that are low to the ground, can you float the arms up? Walking the hands to the right. Now bend the right knee, take your time with this, really feel into all of these sensations, all of these spaces. Bend the right knee, right foot comes down to the ground, left foot seals down to your 45, 
So then again, you can be here in a half split, half middle split. That seems more like a gateway pose, and that's okay. Be where you are. This is all about exploring new spaces. Again, honor the body. Go just as far as feels comfortable. Some of you might want to straighten through the right leg. Take a full middle slip. Feel free. And then walk in the hands, continuing over to the right. Roll the left hip down. Roll onto the bridge of the left foot. Right heel towards your outer right hip. Hip flexor stretch. And feel free to, I only have a short amount of time to, to teach this sequence, but of course if you want to hit the pause button and hip floss to your heart's delight, you can repeat these steps multiple times. You just kind of chisel away at those stagnant points of energy. Back through the middle. Back into side. And then slide that blanket back and off to the side. Roll the mat back out again. Right away, half pigeon pose. Left foot behind the right wrist. Release the left knee behind the left wrist. Gaze back with the right leg in line with the hip. Inhale as you find length. And exhale to forward fold it. Nice deep Ujjayi breaths <laughs> into that space. Oh my goodness. You never know what you're going to get with this stuff though. All sorts of emotional energy will store itself up in the hips. And it's, it's not really our fault. A lot of it is the societal requirements, uh, general human behavioral patterns. Most of us stand and sit upright. So this is why around the new moon phase, the lower spine is most heavily impacted. Walk the right arm underneath your left. I wonder if in the future, it'll be more so equal throughout the whole mind-body matrix as we learn to abide by universal laws. Left arm can walk forward and across and over to the right, both palms facing up, breathe into the back of the heart space. Stay here, or left hand reaches back forward, behind the back, catch the left foot, outer right hip, roll your left shoulder back and twist. Deep Ujjayi breath, send it in. And gently release. Walk the hands back in. Maybe bending in the right knee, reach back with the right hand for the right foot. Press heel towards seat for your quad stretch. Just go as far as feels comfortable. And then maybe, those of you that did so on the other side, left hand can reach back behind, catch the left foot for the bind, then reach back, and maybe you're just working the bow pose, kicking the right shin into the right hand, overhead grip, if it's a part of your practice. Feel free to use a strap if you need. Gently release. Walk the hands in. Tuck the back toes, lift the right knee, slide left leg to the right, and set the left hip down. Walk the hands to the left, right forearm lowers, gently twist, bringing the spine out of toxins. Deep Ujjayi breaths, send it in. Back through the center, pressing down through both your forearms. Drag the left hip back behind. Again, I love, love, love giving the lower spine a little bit extra love around the moon moon. So we're going a little bit lighter on the back bends today, but as we move towards the full moon, you might see a little bit more back bends featured into the sequence. Start to walk the hands back in, pressing down through the palms, lift the hips, right foot swings down, right arm extends, roll the right shoulder back. Maybe float that left foot up, right hand can catch outer edge. Reach it forward towards the front of the room. Release, rebend the left knee, right hand plant. Sweep the left leg up and back. Hip circles, ankle circles, maybe rotate onto the outer edge of the right foot. Get light in your left hand. Vashastasana, Yogi Tolak. 
Overhead grip. Wild thing. And vinyasa if it's pleasing. Lift heels, bend knees, roll the spine forward into your plank as you inhale. Exhale through shuffle around the hug the elbows in. Inhale into earth and look over the shoulders back. Exhale, roll over toes, hips to dip and back. Out of the Knees to mat, hips to heels, child's pose for a couple breaths. And then rolling the spine up through the seating. Take your blanket. Open the blanket out to about this size rectangle. And again, a, a, a common blanket should work too. But if you have a smaller blanket, it should be just right. Roll it up into a small tattoo roll like so. And now place the blanket on top of the knees of the knees. Take a seat on top of the blanket. You lean your weight back, nod the hips from side to side. Deep ujjayi breath, breathe into that space. And then slide the blanket back to about half calf. Again, lean your weight back. And even if those that really like it, you can start to lean your weight back and lift the knees up. Now slide the blanket back to the Achilles tendon right where the gastrocnemius attaches, inserts into the ankle joint. Amazing. And then releasing the blanket, unroll the blanket. We're going to use it one more time today. Tuck the toes, take a seat on top of your heels. All right. Palms come forward, facing out. Cross the arms, interlace your fingers. Knuckles come towards the chest and reach the arms through. Nod the shoulders from side to side. Knuckles back towards the chest, opposite hand on top, interlace, knuckles come towards the chest and reach the arms through, nod the shoulders from side to side. Knuckles back towards the chest, release, shake it out side to side and forward and back. Walk the hands forward, this stuff feels so good at the end of practice. And a little drum roll, kick the feet out. Sometimes I love saving it for the very end. Windshield wiper the heels, fingertips point towards your knees and lean your weight Slowly peel the heels of the hands up off of the mat. Fingertips will lift very relaxed. Then walk your hands back, lift your knees up, stretching out the bridges of the feet, maybe lift up on top of the toe knuckles. Release it back down. Walk the hands forward back into your tabletop. Tuck the toes, hips lift up and back. Do more with facing dog pose. Now making our way back through to seated. Now again, you can step forward and just take a seat. Those of you taking it up into handstand, arms stay straight, push the floor away. Lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward between the thumbs. Exhale to step, let it hop. Roll it up. Extend the legs up. Now slowly lower. Look back, feet forward. Maybe a toe tap with both feet, either wrist. And breathe. Again, you can also step forward. Slide the flesh to the bum, out from underneath. Inhale as you sweep the hands out and up. And exhale forward, fullness. Pashim with Nasana, forward fold. Send breath into your lower back. And then roll the spine up through the seated, draw your knees in, so as the feet come together, knees come wide, scoop the hips towards the heels, hands underneath your feet, press the elbows into the inner thigh as you forward fold for Baddha Konasana. Roll the spine back up through the seated, draw your knees together, and then scoop back a little bit, roll up the front of the mat, feet come forward and in front of the mat. Butt onto the roll, blanket comes forward and in front, feet onto the blanket. This is the best one, say the best for last. Roll it down. Pressing down to the feet, lift the hips up for your bridge pose. Now slide the blanket forward and slide the blanket back. Slide the blanket forward and slide the blanket back. A few more times, slide forward, slide back, feel the hamstrings and the glutes engaging. Once more. And release. Blanket back off 
to the side and unroll the mat. Walk the feet in, fingertips are going to graze the ankles, keeping that engagement, hamstrings and glutes. Press it up, lift it up, hands can come behind the back, interlace, drop shoulder blades together, press chest towards chin. Maybe hands come alongside the ears, fingers point towards shoulders. Press up onto the crown of the head, pause. Walk the hands in, press up, lift up the rest of the full Urdhva Dhanurasana. Maybe walk the feet together, extend the leg up. And switch. Both feet to the mat, take some rocks. Rock up into standing. You can use a wall as well. Please use the wall until you don't need any more of these. I still like to use the wall too every once in a while. It's nice. Hips come forward. Roll the spine back. Both hands ready to receive the floor on your way down. Drop back. Tuck the chin. Back of the head to the mat. And slowly release the spine. Down. Windshield away for those knees. Side to side. Hug the right knee and extend your left leg out. Now scoop the hips to the right. Draw the right knee over to your left. Stacking the right hip on top of the left hip. Roll the right shoulder to the ground. Breathe into your lower back, side body, and rib cage. Back through the center. Half happy baby. Grab the average of the right foot. Maybe left hand holds on to the right sole of the foot. Right arm threads through. Leg behind the head. Anyone that's been working, coming up, left leg extends, swing the leg down, come up into seated, maybe float up for a little leg behind the head on balance. Gently bring the knees back down and release the right leg. Hug the right knee back in. Switch, hug the left knee, extend the right leg out. Scoot the hips to the left, draw the left knee over to your right. This is another thing I love to do. I'll still back bend during the new moon. Maybe I won't back bend quite as intensely as during the full moon, but I love leg behind the head variations during the new moon phase. So glorious for sacral release. Back through the center. Have happy baby. That might be coming soon too. We might do a leg behind the head flow. Let me know in the comment section if that's something you're interested in. Right hand holds on to the left sole of the foot. Left arm threads through. Leg behind the head. Hikapada Shushasana. For those of you that have been working it, adding it in every practice, you have the flexibility to keep that leg behind the head, swing that right leg down, come up to seated, press up, lift up, arm balance. And then gently release it back down. And release, leg behind the head. Honestly, that has made my lower spine absolutely bulletproof. <laughs> Wrap the elbows in towards the side bodies. Engage your core, pressing down through the upper arms. Sweep the legs up and overhead. Shoulder stand front rows. Walk the hands down the back. Press chest towards chin. Breathe into the back and neck. Maybe lower your feet down for your Halasana Cloud. Hands can come behind the back, interlace. Bending the knees. Squeeze the knees into the ears, Karnapiyasana. And then gently releasing and interlace. Slow roll the spine down. Hands underneath your seat, legs extend forward, press down through the forearms, lift the chest up. Crown the head to the mat. Gently release that. Happy baby, maybe. Double legs behind the head. The way Pada Shirshasana. Optional. In a little bit, every practice goes a long way. Before you know it, you're clasping your fingers behind your lower back. Delicious. 
All right, absolutely amazing flow here, please. Gently release, extend the legs out. Feet flop open, palms face up, close the eyes. Everyone take a nice deep inhalation in through the nose. And exhale, let it go. <sighs> Come back to your intention. As soon as space is created, something fills that space. What are you inviting into all of this new space that you've created for yourself and intrinsically, inherently for all beings? Lifting this energy up for the collective consciousness. The highest light within me truly sees and honors the highest light within each of you. And thank you for your practice and your presence. Namaste.